Welcome to my channel for the home of random videos. In this video, we're going to check out the Southwest Airlines app and their entertainment package that they offer on the Southwest Airlines. So let's get started. So I'm currently on the flight from Dallas to Los Angeles. And um, I'm going to go ahead and connect to the Wi-Fi on board. So looking at my Wi-Fi connection, it seems like I've already been connected. It's because I travel frequently with Southwest and I've used their service before. So I'm going to go ahead and tap on the Southwest Wi-Fi from my settings. And now I'm going to click on the Southwest Wi-Fi under the Wi-Fi settings. Now in this pop-up window, I'm going to go ahead and click on that hyperlink or the, the link right there under Manage Router, the getconnected.southwestwifi.com link. I'm going to go ahead and tap on that one. And that takes me to the, um, the web page that Southwest hosts for their entertainment package. As you can see, I'm already in their entertainment package which has all the movies and everything in there. We got Aquaman and I'm going to go ahead and scroll through it to see what other movies they have in the list. So I went ahead and started watching Mary Poppins so that's the reason why it's showing up in there. Now tapping on the menu icon on the left side opens up all their options for different forms of entertainment. And I'm going to go ahead and choose messaging. Now here I must agree to the terms and conditions for the free access to messaging. It supports um, a WhatsApp and iMessages. So once I click on accepting the terms and conditions, I'm uh, connected to... So I currently have Samsung and I'm connected to WhatsApp over their Wi-Fi network, which is pretty neat. Because uh, not a lot, not of airliners are offering this package right now. And when I scroll down, you'll see that it offers iMessage and WhatsApp right there. Now going back again into the menu icon on the left side, we're going to go ahead and jump into TV. There's a little bit of a lag here in opening up the uh, the live TV channels, but it's still pretty snappy. Uh, the responses are pretty good. Um, now here we go, we're seeing all the different channels they offer. And I also got the ad pop-up. I'm going to scroll through the list of all the different channels for you guys so you can take a look at what they have to offer. Just to share the video experience and um, the data streaming, I'm going to go ahead and click on CBS News. Just, just, just so you guys know how responsive everything is and the whole um, satellite inner service and how good that is. Alright, now we're going to go back out of here into the, uh, into the uh, menu again. When I tap on the menu icon here, uh, as you can see, we got messaging with an active check mark right next to it, which indicates that I have agreed to the terms and conditions for messaging. Now we're going to go ahead and take a look at the uh, TV series that they have to offer. Not the live TV, but the TV series. Just a quick look at it. And we'll just go through it just to check out the responsiveness. So these are the different shows that they have on there. Ah, they got Mythbusters, one of my favorites. Let's go ahead and see how well that streams. I'm sorry there's no sound from the video with it. Um, yeah, I'm currently on an aircraft and I don't have all the options um, for the video recording, so the sound was disabled. I'm sorry about that. But as you can tell, the video isn't buffering. Um, it's not giving me those spinny wheels. It's going pretty smoothly. And I'm, I'm pretty satisfied. I'm going ahead and trying to skip through different segments of the video and it's playing just fine. It's very snappy and very responsive. Just the way I like it. Alright, now we're 
we're going to go back out of there, check out what movies they have. All right, we were already looking at this before. Um, I really want to watch Aquaman, but for some reason, Aquaman isn't available for me to watch. So, but I can click on any one of the other ones, like Creed 2 or Mary Poppins, and that works just fine. All right, last but not least, we're going to jump into the music section. So I'm just going to take a quick scroll through it, show you guys what they have available. They have a bunch of podcasts and different genres available. And of course, it's powered by iHeartRadio. So whatever your style is, they have quite a lot of options here. Let's see. Podcasts. Um, all right. Hey, look, they got the TED Radio R. Let's go ahead and check that out. So I tapped on it. As you can tell, it's buffering underneath and it is starting to play. Unfortunately, I don't have the audio here. Sorry about that again, but I can promise you it's working and there are no gaps in the audio piece. All right, folks, so let's take a look at their in-flight drinks menu. Just want to show you that they have all the packages right within their Southwest Airlines web browser interface that they offer us. And it shows you every single um, beverage that they offer on board. Just going to scroll through here so that you guys can see what they have to offer. You can also find this in the little pamphlet they have uh, or the little brochure they have on the aircraft. But this, you know, this is just a little cooler because you got it on your smartphone. Alrighty, so now we're going to go ahead and jump into the flight tracker. Alright, so as you can tell, I'm flying from San uh, Dallas to San Diego. And I still have two and a half hours more remaining on this flight. I'm going to quickly go over what they have in here. It's taking a little bit of time to buffer here. The response isn't too bad. Um, it's streaming the data rather fast. And there you go. There you can see my flight is a little bit out of Dallas and it's got a long ways to go before it hits San Diego. And when I scroll down there's more about the flight information all right, folks. Now I'm going to go ahead and jump back into the menu, into the menu icon, and go ahead and tap on the Wi-Fi option, just so that you guys can see what packages they have available for in-flight Wi-Fi purchase. All right. Um, it looks like they got the eight-dollar all-day package. So basically, no matter how many flights you hop, once you pay that eight-dollar, it's a flat rate, one-time rate, and you can access internet for the entire day. And that pretty much wraps up my video review for the Southwest Airlines um, application and their onboard entertainment package. I just wanted to give you guys a quick overview of what they have new out there. And this video was shot in on um, May 26th, 2019. So it's rather recent. Um, so if you are flying around this time frame, you know what to expect and what kind of entertainment packages they have on board. I hope you like this video. If you like to see more of these types of videos, I make a lot of random videos, so I try to keep it very interesting with uh, different information and usually things that I come across on a day-to-day -day life. So if you like to see more of these types of videos, just let me know what you like to see and uh, I'll try to see if I can get it to you. Thank you.